Mercedes F1 just asked you, how would you make our pit stop 0.1 second faster? And you have 30 seconds to respond. Most people fail this question immediately. F1 teams receive over a thousand applications for every engineering position. And they eliminate 90% of the candidates with seven brutal questions. And here's what separates those who get hired from those who don't. Question number one, how would you make our pit stop 0.1 second faster? This tests whether you understand human and physical limits. McLaren holds a world record at 1.8 seconds from the 2023 Qatar Grand Prix and Red Bull dominated the 2023 season with consistent sub two second stops. At these speeds, we are operating at the edge of physics and human capability. So you should use the three P framework, people, process, and part. Start with training consistency, then optimize choreography, and finally examine equipment friction. Question number two, CFD or wind tunnel for 2026 regulation. This is a trap question testing strategic thinking. The real answer, neither alone is sufficient. F1 teams need both working in peril. It's about understanding when each tool provides the best value for cost. Question number three, the car's losing time in sector two. What's your approach? They're testing if you'll panic and guess. So use the star method instead. Situation, task, action, and result. Always start with data analysis. Telemetry first, driver feedback second, then hypothesis testing. Question number four, one hour until qualifying. The car 0.3 seconds of space. This is pure pressure test. This reveals how you prioritize under time constraints. So use the quick fix hierarchy, the pressures and wing angles before time touching suspension geometry. Small, reversible changes first. Question number five, explain ground effect aerodynamics to someone with no engineering background. Can you simplify complexity without losing accuracy? If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it. First principle thinking wins here. Break it down to fundamental physics concepts anyone can grasp. Question number six, the driver reports the car feels unstable, but the data looks normal. This is the human factor test. They want to see if you'll dismiss subjective feedback or investigate deeper. Great engineers validate a driver input with creative data analysis because sometimes the sensors can measure what the driver feels. And question number seven, why should we hire you over 1,000 other qualified candidates? This is a confidence and self-awareness check. Use the evidence framework, specific examples, quantified results, and unique perspective. Generic answers like I'm passionate about F1 will eliminate you instantly. What do F1 team principles actually look for? Well, they observe how you think under pressure, not just what you know. The winning approach is first principle thinking. Always break every problem down to fundamental physics and engineering truths. One engineer reportedly focused on F equal MA during their Ferrari interview and received an offer because that's exactly how elite engineers think. They strip away complexity to reveal core principles. Your success in F1 interviews isn't about knowing everything. It's about thinking correctly when you don't have all the answers.